Welcome to the Diligent Minds Podcast, where you get practical steps to help you become the best version of yourself and achieve your goals. I'm your host, Dorian Jones. Let's get into it. What's going on, Diligent Minds community? Happy Monday to you. I want to say thank you for choosing me out of all the options that you had, taking me along with you on your journey, on your day. Whatever you're doing, you decide to include me out of all the options you had, and I truly appreciate it. To all the new listeners, go ahead and leave a rating and review on Apple Podcast and Spotify and hit that subscribe button wherever you're listening to this. Don't forget to forward this over to a friend or someone who can utilize the information as well. Before we dive into this episode, I want to ask you to go ahead and check out the show notes. I have so many different links down there, ways you can reach me, ways you can contact me and just say hello, introduce yourself, whatever it is. You got the options down there. You can also get the first two chapters of my book for free. So go ahead and do that. All you have to do, let me know where you like it sent and it's sent right over to you. We won't waste too much time going through this intro. We want to dive straight into this episode and talk about how can you have a can do attitude? You know, the people that are always like, I can do it. I can always do this. I can do that. And they never just really have too much doubt within themselves. How can you as an individual develop that for yourself? That's what we're going to talk about in this episode. One thing's for sure. Our attitude determines our altitude. How far we go with anything in life is primarily based on our attitudes towards events that happen in our lives. So if something happens in your life and you allow it to to stop, you allow it to have you uh, with negative energy or you have negative outlook on something, then that's going to hinder you in some type of way. When you have a bad attitude towards something, the experience with that thing will most likely was or will be unpleasant. Uh, Think about anything you've been through when you had a negative attitude towards you didn't really want to do it. It just wasn't a good experience for you. If you did something because you were forced to, you would go in with no enthusiasm and wouldn't give it too much effort. You do whatever you had to do just to be done with it. Like, all right, let me just get this out the way. Let me just hurry up and, and do this just so that I don't have to deal with it anymore. That type of attitude towards it is going to make that that moment, that experience unpleasurable, no matter what it is in your life, no matter if you want to do or you don't want to do it. Sometimes we got to do things that we don't want to do in order to do the things that we want to do. And that's a lot of times that we don't think about that. We don't think about what we're going through at the moment just to get to the next stage of our life, just to get past this point and get to get to the results that we really want, get to the to the finish line that we're looking forward to. You have to go through those little obstacles. Just think about an obstacle coming up and you have to get to the you have to challenge yourself. You have to go through the the muddy pits. You have to go through all those climbing walls, things moving around just for you to get to the finish line. All of those challenges, you overcoming all these things makes it much more pleasurable, make it much more exciting when you reach that finish line as opposed to it just being a straight walk. So that's the same thing with anything presented to you with your attitude. Embrace the challenges. Flipping that switch to shift your attitude can make a huge difference in how your experience pans out. Even if you don't agree with your current circumstances, you must learn to not allow it to bring down your overall mood or have an effect on the rest of your day. Just those five seconds, that five second exchange does not have to ruin your whole hour. So go ahead and and think about how you can flip and shift your attitude when something is not going your way. It's something that you always want to be conscious of. It's something that you always want to keep in back of your mind and and be more aware, be self-aware to know, like, this is not how I want it to go. But how can I make it better? How can I think? How can I shift my thinking to make this a better day for me, a better experience to allow me to go on with my day and feel like I'm still having a successful day, having a great time? And don't get me wrong. I am not expecting you to walk around and smile all day, every day. That's not what I'm asking you. I'm not asking you to just walk around with a smile like everything's perfectly fine because I understand life happens. We will have different moves. We will have ups and downs, those those high peaks and those deep valleys or those moments of dark times. I'm just asking you to handle everything on a situational case by case basis. Don't allow anything to drag with you. Allow your negative vibes, your negative energy, whatever's pushing you down. Leave that where it is. Don't carry it with you. Don't carry that with you going into new environments, going into new situations, because it's going to affect those situations as well. And then you can have that attitude of, you know what? I can do this. It's going to build that courage. It's going to build that confidence within yourself. And we will be tested many times throughout the day of our lives and not just throughout the day, but just through our lives in general. 
and our response to these tests greatly affects our attitude. Start by always thinking about what can go right instead of entertaining what can go wrong. Because we'll walk into it and say, you know what, I don't like this. But you need to change your thinking towards the small events because that will roll over into the big events because it allows you to look at things from a different perspective and just try to figure out how it works, how you can make it work. Removing I can't or any doubts from your vocabulary. When you do catch yourself saying that you can't do something, change your thinking to say, how can I do it? When you say I can't, you're shutting down the possibility of discovering an alternative to conquer whatever it is that you're facing. When you say, how can I do this? Now you're challenging yourself. You challenge yourself to think. You challenge yourself to to open your mind up, to look for new paths when one door closes on you. And that's what happens when you just change your vocabulary. You change your thinking. You remove that kink out of your vocabulary. It's going to open up so many doors for you. It's going to open up more possibilities that you never thought possible. You must decide that you will be intentional of uplifting yourself during those low times. Learn how to translate low to learning opportunity within. Uh, that's something that I look, I still apply it today when I feel like I'm at a low point. Like, what is the learning opportunity at this moment? This new thinking opens your mind to what may be a learning opportunity that would have otherwise went unnoticed. Just because you you face it and then you shut that door and you don't look for for an opportunity within it. Sometimes the opportunity doesn't present itself or it doesn't make sense to you until you're done with it. It could be days later, weeks later, months later, years. It doesn't matter. But just think about how everything comes together because everything is full circle. So as we come to a close with this, I want to remind you that everything you put your mind to is possible. Keep this in your mind. Whenever doubt may try and creep in, the challenges are there to make the wins more enjoyable. You can't have the good without the bad and the bad doesn't last forever. Fall in love with it all and enjoy the ride because this is one thing about life. We're going to continue to move forward. We're going to continue to be challenged. We're going to continue to to feel like we don't have enough. We don't know the answers, but the answers always present themselves as long as we continue going on that path, have that courage, have that belief. And that's what I want to ask you to do. Find that belief within yourself and, and pull out that I can't do this, whatever you're going through. I don't care how difficult it may seem, how how much of an end it may not seem like being uh, in the nearest sight for you. Have that. I can do this. I can't conquer it. I will do it. Have that type of attitude and watch how it changes for you. So go ahead and enjoy your day. I appreciate you for listening to me. And uh, don't forget to check out the links down in the show notes. Reach out to me. Say hello. Uh, download the uh, first two chapters of the book. And remember, everybody has greatness within. Even you. <laughs>